here is the breaking news. The third managerial casualty of this Premier League season, and it has come at Wolves. Gary O'Neill uh, has lost his job after four consecutive defeats, currently four points off that safety zone. And this is what uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers in the last 10 minutes have released. We have parted company with head coach Gary O'Neill and his backroom staff. O'Neill arrived at Molyneux just three days before the start of the 2023-24 Premier League season, taking on a significant challenge and ultimately guiding the old goal to a successful campaign. Chairman Jeff Shee said, we're very grateful to Gary for all of his effort, dedication and hard work during his time at the club. We wish him and his team the best of luck for the future. So they're the third club to change manager. Any surprise after that run of defeats and the events of yesterday? No, I don't think any surprise at all, Steve. Um, he did do very well last season and some would say that he probably deserved a little bit more time based on that. However, results have been poor. Um, they lost a crunch game yesterday when the pressure was on. Their team seems to be imploding in front of everyone's eyes. I mean, after the game against West Ham, their behaviour was really poor, almost out of control. Yesterday, exactly the same. Big scuffles after the game. Of course, losing this goal in the dying seconds of the game it does you no favours at all. And when you lose to relegation candidates like Ipswich, then... I'm afraid your days are numbered and no surprise that the, uh, the axe has fallen today. And these scenes, as Michael said, Berber, following on from Monday night, weren't pretty at all and, and not a good sign of the Wolves dressing room. Exactly. I think uh, the pressure is getting on to them and it shows that something is not working properly on the pitch, obviously, and off the pitch, because to allow yourself behaviour like this, not once but twice, is unacceptable. And obviously when it's coming with a bad performance on the pitch, in the end, we all know that who is going to get the blame? The manager, of course. So it was expected for him at some point to, to be sacked. Leicester away next. Um, do you see them making an appointment till the end of the season? I mean, we know the, the likes of Graham Potter and David Moyes are out of work at the moment. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer was there yesterday. I must point out as well. that was only because his friend Kieran McKenna. Yeah. But it doesn't and his son's stop. an Ipswich fan. It doesn't stop the rumour. I know, but going I'm, trying there, to, I'm trying to quell that one because I know the reason why Ollie was there. So yeah, sure. no, I, I think that there are a few managers at the moment out of work um, that could be candidates, yes. You know, sometimes a manager loses his job and you think, wow, who's available? Who can, who can take over? But you just mentioned a couple. Graham Potter sat there twiddling his thumbs, ready to... Uh, to probably go back into a job. David Moyes, he's got the experience of this, uh, this type of situation as well. And there's probably more out there. Um, you know, so yeah, we will see. Uh, Steve Cooper, he's lost his, his job, obviously, at, um, at Leicester. And he'd be a, a candidate to take over a Premier League team again. So yeah, definitely options out there. Whether it's a permanent, whether it's to the end of the season. To be honest even if it's to the end of the season. If you do particularly well, then they're going to make it permanent anyway. So, uh, yeah, definitely candidates out there. And uh, we'll watch this space over the next few days. Yeah, but the question probably is who is going to take the responsibility for this difficult job? Because Wolves are nine points, right? Who of the manager, more you said, is going to maybe risk his reputation in a way of taking this challenge? Because it is a challenge, right? At least in my mind, to save them. Yes, there are three or four points from allegations, but still it's a tough situation for the club and for the manager to say to himself, OK, I can risk part of my reputation. Let's see if I can take this job. So this is for me the main question. Who of the all good manager you mentioned is going to go and try to do a tough job? Plenty of time, though. That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. We're one third through the season. There's plenty of time. If somebody really believes in their ability, if they look at that squad and think, yeah, there's a fair bit there, and then the chairman says there might be a bit of money in the window that's going to crop up very, very soon, then, you know, there's a few things why you might think, do you know what, I could give that one a go. OK, so Wolves looking for their fourth manager in three and a half years. Um... <laughs>